everyone welcome back to my channel and we are playing Diablo 3 now I understand this isn't really Westeros this is Diablo 3 we're in West March but just hear me out I just really need to get this out of my system because if not I might go crazy I just finished watching Game of Thrones season 4 episode 6 the loss of God and men and before we begin the video, like really start it, I will have to say this. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. You have been warned. Last night's episode really made me happy, like super happy. Like I'm a giggling little bunch of nerves. But I must say, I am more pleased than disappointed not like the other previous episodes. Ow. There are things that are definitely different from how they were in the books, but we're not here to discuss that. We're just here to appreciate the show. And I admit I'm a book reader, but I don't want to bitch about it. Because I understand that not everybody read it, and I don't want to ruin the experience for you. So here goes. Last night, Stannis was in Bravos borrowing money from the Iron Bank. And guess what? We see Tycho for the first time. And Tycho is also that guy that plays Mycroft in Sherlock, in BBC's Sherlock. So that's like, yay, I'm so happy and I'm, I'm just really psyched to see him. But with that, it's not... I don't how should I put it? That's not really how it happened, but it doesn't bother me at all. And I really appreciated how Stannis reacts to the fact that Davos is doing everything he can to get him an army. And I know Melisandre gives him results that really matter, like dead kings and all that shit. I'm still not up for the... Uh, philosophy that the ends justify the means because that's not true. We shouldn't do things for a certain result but would also compromise our own sense of honor which is why I like Davos. I like Davos a lot. I'm like team Davos all the way and Melisandre is really just ruining Stannis. Now Davos is a good man. He was a smuggler. He was a uh, criminal. And he was punished for it already. And he was also given a second chance. Which makes me believe that for whatever fault or whatever his faults are, Stannis is a truly just man. But I don't think he's going to be a good king. Well, at least not until he gets rid of Melisandre. But enough about Stannis. I also want to mention Theon or Alfie. Alfie the actor, not just Theon Greyjoy. He does a really good job of, of acting as Theon. He's, uh, when I was reading about Reek and Theon's transition from, from, Reek, from Theon to Reek and then from Reek to Theon or whatever, it's, it's, really painful. Theon had to go through lots of pain, which a lot of people will argue that he deserved for what he did to the North, but again, me, uh, no, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna be an elitist jerk that read the book. Just Let's just take this at face value. Theon was a bad, well, he's not entirely a bad person. He just did what he did for the love of his family, or more particularly, his dad, which is like, Oh my god, we are ironborn, we don't sow, so, or we don't do shit for other people, and you, you're you not uh, ironborn anymore, you, you turn into one of them pansy Starks. But anyway, I don't appreciate that they called Asha Yara now, because Asha is a cool name, I like the name Asha. And she said some cool things before launching the attack, like Theon is our prince, and 
he's also ironborn and if if people can treat our prince with such impunity we can't call ourselves ironborn now that got me that was a good motivational speech and i would have jumped out of the boat and stormed the dreadfort or whatever that place is but uh, sadly they had to be chased off by dogs so that happened but who cares they're gonna be back anyway i like the ironborn or at least the real ironborn the the guys who were like real pirates and warriors and stuff not the kind of uh portrayal that they gave us in the tv shows that they just look like they're people who don't bathe even if they live near the water now enough about the yon and the ironborn let's go to marine daenerys targaryen Dani, if you may i love the fact that at least one of her dragons is big enough to eat people other than that being queen of the gods forsaken place isn't much to look forward to also hidzar hids He's Dar Zolorak. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Feel free to correct me or, or just tell me I'm wrong or <laughs> anything. I don't mind. I'll learn that way. That's how I learn from my mistakes and sometimes from other people's mistakes too. But anyway, that guy, he's, his Dar Zolorak has been extremely sugar-coated in this episode. Then again, the show has Dany so sugar-coated, it almost gave me diabetes. Seriously, it's it's just, they show her in such a bright light, like she's the savior and all. And I love the fact that they're trying to uh, contradict that this season by presenting the other angle or the other side of the story where uh, she did provide maybe maybe she did provide justice for the children that were crucified but also she has given injustice to the other masters who did not deserve that punishment kind of like what his dar's dad or at least according to him that his dad was against that which is weird because i never read about that in the book oh my god i'm sorry I'm not going to do that again. Book reader uh, syndrome, I'm sorry. But anyway, enough about the people who are, well, I wouldn't say insignificant, but they're less important, at least to me. Let's talk about the one thing that really mattered this episode. They called the episode The Loss of God and Men, and we can't really discuss that without talking about Tyrion Lannister. Still accused of killing the late King Joffrey and he was imprisoned and the way that they dragged him out to court, well not really dragged, but they still handcuffed him which was really handcuffs on a dwarf that you can easily outrun. Why? That's not fair and it's an insult. Especially if it's your son. Need more time. Now, about that. It was really nice of Jamie to offer himself to his father for Tyrion's life. That really shows us how much he really, really loves his brother. And I, I really almost believe that it's going to be... A happy ending but anyway it's game of thrones like what they said in the previous trailers if you think this has a happy ending you haven't been paying attention i, don't have enough I love that line but anyway oh god i always say anyway i hate it so about uh Tyrion. let's go back to Tyrion and the trial they had a couple of witnesses that testified against him, which were the stuff that we expected. Of course, Meryn Trant hates him, and he spews or he he spills or spits out bullshit about about Tyrion threatening the king and stuff. And of course, he said and did all that, but if he only did it because Joffrey was being such a jerk. He was being a jerk to Sansa. He and Meryn Trant 
for being such jerks to Sansa. That's why he did what he did. And also, what I know I have no right to be surprised because I read the book and all that shit, but I was still a bit taken. Oh, mm, I'm not really blindsided, but it had that certain impact because I'm quite aware that D and D usually change things, or not usually. D and D and D has a tendency to alter specific events, specific people, or, or or they just have that habit of changing things that happened in the book, didn't happen in the series, or happened in the series but was never in the books. They ha they do that sometimes. So. To a certain degree, I didn't really know what to expect at that moment, but Shay walked out. Just like in the books. She came to the trial and pretty much betrayed Tyrion Lannister. And that was when he snapped. I mean, his father can throw everything at him, all the witnesses that he can find, but this one woman, this was the last straw. This was the straw that broke the donkey's back. I hope I used that correctly. But anyway, that was it. He was all over the place as soon as as soon as soon the realization hit him that this woman just betrayed him. This woman that he loved so much. This woman that he had to send away just to keep her safe. She didn't trust him anymore and instead of just going away to keep herself safe she had to testify against him because quite honestly she was she has every right to be pissed I mean I need healing. Tyrion just sent her away with no explanation aside from the really really harsh uh, talk that he gave her like I'm already married now we can't be friends anymore or quote unquote friends anymore you have to leave I prepared a ship for you and just I go away that. that's basically what he said so you can't blame the girl for not trusting him about that decision but in Tyrion's defense if he told her the truth she would never have believed him anyway because uh, that's what he's been trying to say all along every time they try to talk he would He would tell her that this is a dangerous place you have to leave and she would just take it lightly like it doesn't matter so he had to Do something more drastic to keep her away Which was kind of sad also because I think she really loved him and he really loved her too But I guess that's the way of it George R. R. Martin wrote the damn book and he's not gonna make everybody or at least his characters not all his characters happy and let's go back to Tyrion's feelings when he when when it finally hit him that this woman just this woman that he loved so much just betrayed him he completely lost it the outburst was amazing a lot of people on Facebook Twitter and all the other stuff that's going on in the internet they they keep saying that Peter Dinklage is gonna be winning another Emmy for this which I think he does deserve it and I have no uh, objections to that because I think he's really awesome especially during that part but I can't really tell for sure because I don't know who he's gonna be going up against but still it would be pretty sweet if he won again hmm what else I think that's about it I just got it out of my system I'm feeling pretty good and I'm gonna be killing more monsters I will see you guys again and you all have a great day next weekend when they come up with a new episode I hope it will be just as awesome, if not more awesome than this. Bye guys!